G'day comrades, it is Rusty Mango here and welcome to my Mango Update Episode 3. It has been a long, long time since my last update video but hopefully I can get everything back on track and explain a few things today. First of all, I'm going to explain what I've, where I've been and what I've been doing and but more importantly, I will be explaining this new Steam Challenge as you would have seen the trailer come out a few days ago or last week and yeah, so we'll get on to that. So first of all, well, I've been gone for so long. So I've been gone for a Oh, about a year and a bit, and I've had some montages in between, but look, to be honest, the only reason I've been gone is just three simple things, life, study, and just being generally lazy. Haven't really had the motivation to make any videos, but oh, I'm now back into it, university on break, so hopefully I can get, put some more content, more videos out, you know, I love doing the stuff, I just never had the motivation before, I kind of just got too lazy, I guess, but now it's back, and yeah, hopefully I can continue to do this consistently, I've made a new timetable, so hopefully I'll continue to do this whilst I'm going through university when I start again next year, but everything is good. So, the bigger question for this video is this new Steam Challenge. You may have saw the trailer come out the other day, I'm wondering, what is this all about? Well, uh, this came to my mind about two months ago, roughly, had a thought about all the Steam games that people don't play in their library. Now, as someone who has 170 games, and I know a lot of people, including most of my friends, have p over 100 plus, if at least 50 plus games. A lot of them don't. A lot of well, my friends and others don't play a lot of the games they buy. Considering you buy these games in packs, and well, they you give, you give thanks to that for Steam sales and the humble bundle, I guess. You people buy a lot of games they don't play. Fair enough. You don't want to play them all, but. I always thought that there's a lot of games in my library that I do want to play just that I've been too lazy or can never get around to doing it, such as, you know, Mass Effect or Allo Noir. I've always wanted to play those games, but I never did it. Well, I had a thought about getting back into YouTube at the same time. I'm like, hang on here, I can take Kill Two Birds with One Stone. I can do a series about this whole new um, Steam challenge and whilst at the same time completing all my games. Document it and I have I've done, haven't done very a thorough check, but I've done a brief check, and I haven't seen any one popular, like any famous YouTuber, do this before. So this could be a world first as an attempt to complete my Steam library. Well, of course, without doing this, I would have to have some rules. So I can't finish this challenge without laying down some rules of how I'm going to go about actually doing it. So I've developed about a few sub rules, but four main rules about how I'm going to actually do this actual challenge. Well, first of all. Um, I'm gonna uh, look. I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna get random a game first of all. It's not actually a rule, but I'm gonna random a game from this random Steam picker, and that's the game I play. Not. I'm not always gonna do that. For most of the time, I'm gonna just random a game. That's what I'm gonna play. It, when I get a game, I'm gonna have a look at four rules. The first one is that if it's a single player game, I have to complete this game on the second hardest difficulty. Now, let's say for example, we grab Call of Duty World of War. I grab that game. Okay, it has a single player. I play the entire campaign second hardest difficulty. Record it all, upload it all, and I might do a couple of videos afterwards just showing the multiplayer and the, and the zombies or whatever. If a single player game does have a multiplayer component, I won't put my focus onto the multiplayer, but I will just have a few episodes just to at least show that I've actually gone through it and completed the game, so to speak. Okay, so, second rule. What if the game is have a single player but does have an active multiplayer? Well, what happens then is I get you guys, the viewers or whatever, to make a comment or to give a suggestion in the comment section and tell me what I should do as a challenge to finish that game. Now I will actually announce each next game I'll play before I actually play it so it gives you guys a chance to discuss it and probably more importantly if it's a multiplayer game give me suggestions of how I can do a challenge. Let's say I take a game like Team Fortress alright I have to, a challenge, an example challenge could be have to play every single game mode as a different um, character and win at least once as in those different game modes and different characters for example, you know. So I guess that could be a challenge I could do, and once I've done that, alright, I can tick that game off. I've successfully looked at every kind of bit of the game, every different class, and there you go, Bob's your uncle, we're on to the next game. So that's probably the two major rules, but well, there actually are two more. If there is, a third rule being that if there is a dead multiplayer, now there are games like this, such as, I guess, uh, Ravage for starters, you look it up, you've probably never heard of it, because it is a dead multiplayer game. No single player, but does have a Okay, multiplayer reminds me of Mad Max a little bit when I did play it when it came out, but there is no one playing the game. Now, my in my endeavour is to actually get a couple of hours recording on that game. We'll see how we go. I can't promise anything, but my idea in this challenge is I want to finish every game possible. I want to do every game somehow, some fashion. I'll be good with some games that I'm going to struggle with, but I guess we'll cross that road when I get there. Um, and that's pretty much everything for the third rule. I just got to try and play the game. 
if it's dead and get at least a couple of hours recording depending on how big how much content the game has. The fourth rule is actually not really a rule more of a statement, it's a back burning rule or the back burner. For which I'm not sure if I'm using that statement correctly, but what if, what it means is that if I have a game I can't complete, I'll put it on the back burner and just let it sit there as a game that I have to finish as soon as I can. I'll have to look at different avenues of how I can play the game. The probably most obvious one is get other people or other friends to actually buy the game with me and actually play it, so that way I can actually do something. Um, yeah, I mean, not all games, gonna, some games that have a dead multiplayer actually may have AI or something, so I mean, that's worst, worst case scenario, but I guess if that's my choice, that's my choice. So I guess, I guess I've got a few options available to me, but I tend to finish every single game. So they're the four main rules, particularly one and two about how single player and multiplayer games we played and how I actually finished them. Um, I would like to mention a few sub rules. First of all, some of the games are not on my library, but are on my account. Now you could argue that there's one of the same thing, but I think there's only about three of them. I know two of them, uh, one of them is um, Tribes Ascent, and the other one is Terra. I don't really have any interest in playing these games, they're not technically on my library. I mean, I've got enough on my plate as it is, because, you know, 170 games, that's probably going to take me, as you saw in the trailer, about 3,000 hours. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll just see how it comes, and I don't want to play games that are not on my library and install just, just more stuff I have to download. But I don't know, maybe I might do it eventually if I have if I'm desperate any more games. But at the moment, I'm just going to leave it. Um, if I do get those games, if I because at the end of this video, I will random a game, my first game, and I'll explain why I'm doing that in a second. Um, I'll just skip them for the time being. Um, there, there's a deal of sequels, so I've stuff like uh, The Witcher and uh, Mass Effect. I actually want to play those games in order. So if I get, if say for example I random Mass Effect 2, but I haven't played Mass Effect 1, I'm just going to go ahead and play Mass Effect 1. And then if I random again, I get Mass Effect 1 again. I'm just going to play Mass Effect 2. Or I can't, I can't play a game already played it. By the way, that's something else I probably should make mention is I've played every once play a game, it's ticked off. I'm not going to come back to it. On part of the challenge anyway, I might play it if I want to, but you know, it's not doing any more recording part of the challenge. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is I'm trying to avoid MMOs. Uh, I mean, like, I know there's a lot of free to play ones, like Terra, that's one of the ones I've got. I haven't installed it, so it's not on my library, but it's on my account. I don't know how I'd even attempt to doing one of these things. At the moment, I'll stay away from them. If I can find some way of, like, incorporating the challenge, I might, but yeah, I'll see, it come, it'll come, I'll see how it comes, I guess. But, um,. Yeah, at the end of each video uh, game I finish, um, I will do a mini review, probably two to three minutes, three to four minutes, whatever, how long it takes, depends on how long the game is. Just give my final thoughts on what the game I finish and, you know, what I thought about it. Just a mix with some random footage I'll just take and just slice it all together. Um, just so I can just wrap up the game in a nice way and just give my final thoughts. I mean, this is my opinion, so I don't think anyone cares about it, but, you know. I guess that's how it comes at the end. Uh, but but the more important thing, at the end of those update, oh, review videos, so for each game, I'll actually go back, which you'll see in a second, and pick my next game. Now, maybe you're asking, how am, I, how am I actually picking my games? Well, what I'm doing is I'm actually randoming these games, and you might be able to see here that each game I do, I'm go it's been random completely. Now, you can see on the screen here that... I am just this game website called What Should I Play on Steam.com. I'm going to chuck in my username, and just the first game I get, I have to play it. Like, this is this is the first game. I'm actually a little bit excited. I'm going to be nervous this in the moment, um, but we'll quickly see what's going to happen. So, okay, so we're gonna, this is the first game I'm going to play, and we are playing. Oh, okay. Serious Sam, the second encounter, classic 2002. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the first game I'm going to be playing as part of my Steam challenge. So, um, oh, now I do have remakes of this, so I guess I have to play the old version. I'm not sure. Okay, we'll see how we go. All right. So that's that for the um, recording, and I'll get back to that a bit later. So eventually, after everything is done, I will attempt to do every game. I try to get at least a couple hours of each footage of each game, depending on how long the game is, like I said before. But, yeah, essentially, this update video I've just you're listening right now, essentially just detailing the rules. I actually might keep this, like, as a permanent link to, like, if people will come back and will say, oh, what's the rules you had? Um, you know, like, this video just inform people what the rules were. I guess, like, some rules might change, but definitely the first two and probably three and four for the main rules will stay the same, like how I will do the single player. Second hardest difficulty... Multiplayer is going to be a challenge, and you know if it, if multiplayer is dead, then I'll have to figure a way to get around it. We'll see how we go. Um, that's pretty much it. Nothing really, not really an exciting update video. I intend to release more update videos maybe once a month. I know when necessary, I guess. I mean, I'm not going to try and um, you know kill myself to get an update video every fortnight. That was just 
insane. You know, maybe maybe only maybe once like you know four times a year. I mean, it's like I don't. I'm only just a random guy doing YouTube videos. I don't think I have that much to talk about. But I guess something. Will, I'll just I'll see what happens. Um, so hopefully you're looking forward to looking to my new content, and hopefully I'm making world records here because I'm not going to cheap out. I'm going to upload every single bit of footage I record, probably with my obviously my voice over commentary. Um, if you like that, I guess. But this, I, I'm looking forward to this. I really am looking forward to this. I'm actually going to play some games that I've always wanted to play, and this is a great way of doing it, and to try and do something at the same time as never been done before. So the challenge begins now, and thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you in the first video for Serious Sam and the Second Encounter Classic 2002. This should be fun. Okay. Catch you later, everyone, and you stay cool.